Hi, I'm Stefan Hikevich, a principal scientist with CSIRO, working in the area of strategy, foresight and long-range planning. You know, CSIRO, we did a study on global megatrends and change, and from that study I think I can identify three things that really matter for cities. The first one of them is energy supply. I think we're going to see enormous innovation in how renewable energy, solar and wind, can be used. In particular, as we see breakthroughs in battery technology, this will totally revolutionise how we can supply energy to a city as houses will be able to cut the link to the power company and generate power off the roof with a low cost battery pack inside the house. It's not there yet but it is certainly coming. So energy supply will change for a city. The next big ticket item for cities is health and health care. Um, we're looking at rising rates of overweight and obesity people in society and it's largely associated with physical inactivity. The, the car oriented society we've got and the increased screen time we have means that people aren't moving enough worldwide. Over five million people die each year due to physical inactivity. There is so much we can do with city design to get people physically active and to avoid these problems and it's not just good for people's quality of life. Economically it's going to really matter as we're on a trajectory at the moment of seeing healthcare expenditure go from 20% of all government taxes to 40% of government taxes and increase continually beyond that. So that uh, if we design a city with bikeways, walkways, um, sporting facilities, outdoor recreation, that can be a city which changes uh, the health outcome for us uh, in that we can, we can do a huge amount of good just via how we plan and design our city. And we know that from a lot of studies in the field of town planning that show that a city with public transport, bikeways, walkways and, and recreation features that are cleverly built into it definitely gets better health outcomes. So that's the second thing is healthcare. The third thing that is big is digital technology. Digital technology is going to totally allow us to plan a city in different ways. You know, I love big bits of hard infrastructure, but it's not all about pouring cement. We can make the existing infrastructure we've got work a lot harder by intelligent digital technologies. I think it's time for us to start taking on some bold new challenges. You know, we are constrained by money, but I think more than money, we're constrained by ideas. We need to put out some bold ideas and give them a try. You know, could we make Brisbane the first car-free city in the world? We could give it a shot. You know, could we do a lot of other really exciting new things? Could we make Brisbane the place which demonstrates healthy ageing as the world has an ageing population and the lifestyle illness issues I mentioned, could Brisbane be the place that unlocks that and shows a, a pathway forward where people can be physically fit and active outdoors? And I think yes there are answers but we need to, to do some bold thinking and do some bold experiments because you know we've got to challenge the business as usual model.